mercy. Dear Mother, in perpetual help, from the cross, Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindest and the most loving of all mothers. Tenderly on us, your children. We now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this week. While you're on earth, dear mother, you willingly share the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God. You accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost push us to the ground. Dear mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that he never ceases to love us. He answers all our Prayer for our fathers. Mother of perpetual help, we choose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender and motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has
reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul's escorts had taken him to Athens, they came away with instructions for Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as possible. Then Paul stood up near a doctor in the office and said, You Athenians, I see that in every respect you are very religious. For as I walked around, looking carefully at your shrines, I even discovered an altar inscribed to an unknown God. What therefore do you unknowingly worship? I'm proclaiming to you. The God who made the world, all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands. He needs anything. Rather, it is he who gives to everyone life and breath and everything. Made from one, the whole human race, well on the entire surface of the earth, and he fits the ordered seasons and the boundaries of the regions so that people might seek God, even perhaps grope for him and find him. Though indeed, Thank you. 
disciples. Much more to come you. What? You cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears. He will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me. his body. He held this woman's body in an embrace. Because she loved him with her touch. Then the saying falls. Being able to hold God, the God of the universe. 
God directly, experience God's glorious love. But they long for, and especially this priest, who was able to hold God in his hands at the consecration of the Mass. All the saints of heaven long for their resurrected bodies to be given them. Those 
Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mother of the Church, you are also our Mother of Perpetual Help. With hearts full of love for you, we consecrate ourselves to your Immaculate Heart, so that we may be your devoted children. Obtain for us true sorrow for our sins and fidelity to the promises of our baptism. We consecrate our minds and hearts to you, that we may always do the will of our Heavenly Father consecrate our lives to you, that we may love God better, and live not for ourselves, but for Christ, your Son, and that we may see him and serve him in others. By this humble act of consecration, your mother of perpetual help, we pledge to model our lives on you, a perfect Christian, so that consecrated to you in life and in death, we may belong to your divine Son for all eternity. Our prayer of thanksgiving. Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and do penance for them. Through you, Thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them we may grow in love with Him. Above all, thank you, our Father, for sending you to us as the greatest expression of His love. To save us, all creation, by your death and resurrection. Thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession, and especially through this novena, inspire us to greater confidence in God's loving mercy and her perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God, persevere in his love to the most holy trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, in honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. And a prayer for the sick, especially the sick priests who have the honor of holding Jesus in their hands in consecration. Father Shaw, Father Kramer, all the priests that are sick, the sick of our families, the sick of our church community. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings, carried our sorrows, in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayers for the sick. Grant that those who are weighed down with pain and other afflictions of illness may realize that they are among the chosen ones whom you call blessed. Help them to understand that they are united with you in your sufferings for the salvation of the world. Now we pray our prayer to St. Joseph.
defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness